and move. But yeah, so what I was saying about the whole marriage tip, and I think is important that we remember about marriage is, you know what I'm saying, 99, 90% of, I'm gonna say 99% of all successful black men are married, you know what I'm saying? And there's a, a reason for that, you know what I'm saying? A lot of the leaders that we look up to, you know, from whether it's, you know, the minister, whether it's Barack Obama, whether whoever you wanna say, they had a they had a woman beside them that was just as strong as they were. Cause you gotta understand that when you get married, it's not just you with a woman forever. You got a whole partner. You got a whole, now you got two brains. And the, the, the good part comes when you're able to merge those two brains and then make one unit where y'all think on the same accord. And that's when you can get to that next level where you're able to, you know, marriage is supposed to be fun. Marriage is supposed to be an adventure. Marriage is supposed to be, you know, a journey. And it's supposed to be something that's evolution, like revolutionary and always kind of evolving as y'all evolve together. And I just think that we be doing it crazy. We be doing it wrong. Like, a lot of things that we do, we be doing it messed up and fucked up. So, like, I don't know. I just be trying to, like, do my part as somebody that I believe. I believe, young. I believe you know, Allah blessed me to have a, a different mindset. So, I, I'm supposed to use it. So, if my mindset is different from the average young man. What's love got to do with it? Got to do with it. What's love? With a second hand emotion. What is love? Y'all tell me, what is love? I hear that word all the time. And those, you know, with those other two words, I love you. Get out of here. Love is overrated. It really is. It really is. It's overrated. The most important thing in a relationship should be. What do you have to bring to the table? Or can you communicate? Are you trustworthy? And can I depend on you? Then love should come after that. Once all that is established. But no. Everybody goes backwards. They put that love mess first. It don't mean jack diddity. Jack Dillity. Doesn't. Because after a while, when you get some mileage on the relationship, that's when everything starts to come out. It's like a new broom because all new brooms sweep good, don't they? Yeah, you go buy a new broom, you put in the, take that thing in the kitchen on a hard floor, boy, sweep up everything. Man, you don't leave nothing behind. After a while, that broom starts to get old and get some mileage on it. Then you got to go over it, wherever you, that spot you take over and over and over. Because that broom doesn't sweep good anymore. That's the same thing with love in the relationship. Because when that relationship gets some mileage on it, are you willing to sweep over it and over it and over it again? To keep working on it and working on it and working on it and working on it over again? Does, do you communicate? Can you communicate? And if you communicate, do you listen? Because the, that's the most important thing in a relationship. It's not love, but it's cooperation. Because all love is, is a kind, it, 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 when it comes to marriage, all love is, is just a feeling. You should never get married for the sake of love. Never. Never. Those things that I called off just before this should come first. That love should be a second, third, fourth, <laughs> you know, to come into play. I'm serious. I hope y'all listening to me. See, when you get married, marriage is nothing. That marriage certificate is nothing but a contract. When you sign your name on that dotted line, you're signing a contract. That's an obligated contract. Why do you think you got to go to court when you decide to get a divorce? Which is the divorce rate in this country is over 50% in America. Over 50%. And it's climbing. You know why? 
Because of that love thing. Love ain't jack. It ain't. It's good. All the feelings and stuff like that, yeah. But you got to put the important things first. Because when the businessmen go on into a business together, let's say they got a partnership and they sign a contract. They don't sign that contract until they know that that partner that they're getting ready to go into business with is going to fulfill the obligations of what they need to be doing in that partnership. They're not going into the business just for the sake of, oh, wow, you know, I want to be an entrepreneur. I'm all excited about it, you know, and just, and just go into it blindly. That's how love is as far as a relationship, as far as marriage is concerned. You're going into it blindly because you're going based on feelings and stuff like that and emotions and stuff. You know, women, they go into it on that white shining shining armor or on the white horse thing and, and scoop you off your feet and take you into the happily ever after to La La Land. That's why y'all living in La La Land with that. Because that's what y'all want from these guys. Oh, La La Land. Oh, he's going to take me into La La Land. I'm going to live happily ever after. And you guys, all you want to do is just, you look at a woman and you're lusting. And you're mistaking that for love most of the time. Because it's always, you see, because men are visual. And we look at a woman, we, the first, what is the first thing that come out of your mouth? Oh, man, she is bad. You're not looking at that character. You're looking at that body. You're looking at that butt, the legs, all that. That's what you're looking at. You know? And all she's looking at is what you can do for her. But what are... The question is not asked. Of what, when, you sit, when you decide to get married and you sit down... Before you marry that person, you sit down that person, you interview that person. When you first meet that person, is that person worth your time? Y'all talk to each other after y'all about a month or two into, a, into the relationship and you decide to get serious. These are the steps that should be taken. Because putting love first is, is pushing the cart before the horse. You know, love don't pay the bills. It can't. Love don't put food on the table. You know, love don't always bring happiness. There are other things involved that brings happiness. Love don't do it by itself, and it can't. It's ridiculous. It's miseducation of the married world. Miseducation. And nobody, somebody needs to tell these people about that. Somebody needs to tell y'all about this. The ones who aren't married, the ones who are thinking about getting married. You know? If y'all belong to a church or something like that, y'all go to the pastor and the pastor asks y'all a few questions and stuff like that. And then y'all get married based on the pastor. The pastor ain't no marriage counselor. I mean, you know, he, he's a man of God. He knows the Bible and stuff. Supposed to. That pastor is not in your relationship. You should be asking the questions to each other. Can, it's all about cooperation you have to ask yourself if I get in a tough bind can I, can I depend on that person you don't want to be in a relationship where you're talking and you're trying to explain something that other person, your partner don't get it or they don't want to get it so now you're pulling this way y'all not working together as a team y'all pulling apart so you're not getting anywhere. You're just like a hamster in, in, in a wheel in a cage. Come on, man. That love mess. It's a second-hand emotion. What does that have to do with anything? What does that have to do with your survival? It takes more than that, you know, to sustain a marriage. I'm telling y'all because I've been around for a long time. And I am a married man. You know? I got friends that have been married two or three times. Why? You know why? Because they keep repeating the same, same old actions. They haven't learned from the last one and the one before that. Look, people. I'm just giving my advice about this. 
Don't get married for the sake of love. That's all I got to say. Because you'd be making a wrong move if you do that. You know? A wrong move. Women? Are you the type of woman that your man gets stuck in a bind or something like that? Are you the one to step up? To help him out? Or to criticize him? Or to do nothing? And say, hey, you're the man. You're supposed to take care of this. Are you... And, and fellas, are you capable of taking care of your responsibilities? Going to work every day or starting a business or being aggressive as far as trying to do something to help, help it enhance your lives together. It's a partnership. Get that through your heads. It's a partnership. Trust me. I know there are some people that get caught up in that love thing and then they end up in the divorce court and they'll be like, how did I get here? I don't even know this woman. Yeah, you don't know that woman because you didn't interview that woman and you didn't do your research on that woman before you married her. There you go back to pushing that cart before the horse, that love crap. You find out the quality of that person, find out what that person has to bring to the table, find out that that person's dependable and has stability, then you bring the love in on the tail end. That's the icing on the cake. But the other way around is backwards. Anyway, I ain't going to draw this out. I spoke my piece. You know? I'm just trying to share with you, especially you young people, some knowledge on my experience and wisdom that I have obtained over the years. You know, if you marry somebody, if you get with somebody, everybody have their likes, their dislikes. Everybody has their goals or what they want out of life. Make sure that person that you get with is aligned with your goals and wants and needs. And don't base it all, oh, because I love him or I love her. Get the heck out of here. Anyway, I'm done with this. I'm not angry. Sometimes I look angry because I get, you know, I get tired of nonsense. I get tired of people not educating, not trying to help out. And I ain't talking about the doctors and the, you know, psychologists and all that stuff like that. I'm just talking about everyday people that go through these experiences, that go through the, the, the rigmaroles or whatever. Anyway, y'all take care. All right. I'm done with this topic. That's all I have to say about this. Take care.